back to my kitchen. Today we are making a pineapple pound cake with a cream cheese glaze. Now interestingly enough, you guys, I have never fixed a pineapple pound cake. And I normally don't cook things that we don't eat. And when I say I don't eat, we like pineapple. We love pineapple. As a matter of fact, our dude number two, that's his favorite fruit, our son, loves pineapple. But I'm not one that goes and orders or buy a piece of pineapple cake if I'm out, you know, having dinner. And that's one of my options. So, because I do like pineapple, I said, okay, well, I'll, I'll try one. And I'm going to fix it my way. But there was a subscriber. Her name is Candy Yandy. She mentioned a pineapple pound cake. So Candy, look, girl, we're trying this for you. Again, I'm going to make it the way I want to make it. I love taking recipes and tweaking them to, you know, do things the way I want to do it. And if you'll notice, most of my pound cakes have that base of three, three, and three. Three cups of flour, three cups of sugar, and three sticks of butter unless I'm really doing a specialty pound cake but you know nine times out of ten that's pretty much what you're gonna find is the basis of most of my pound so cakes. again because I do like pineapple um, I said we'll try this cake now one cake you probably will never I don't know that I would ever try would be maybe a coconut pound cake because I don't really like the texture of coconut um, I'm really funny about texture and speaking of which because this cake calls for pineapples of course I'm gonna put you know pineapples in the batter this is pineapple a can of pineapple that I've already opened and it's been drained I mean really drained but I'm not liking the chunks or the texture of the pineapple I don't want to bite into the cake and taste chunks of pineapple I just don't so what I'm going to do, um, I'm going to um, use my, I think it's my little ninja, and I'm going to kind of purify this. Not purify. Lord Jesus, we're not purifying the pineapple. Pureeing the pineapple. Because I don't, I don't want this chunky texture. So I will show you the texture after um, I puree it and get it a lot more smoother than this. And this is the kind of pineapple that I purchased. It was just a crushed pineapple in 100% pineapple juice. And I did reserve some of that juice because I'm going to use just a little bit of it in my glaze. I have a cup of milk. I know a lot of recipes calls for um, adding the pineapple juice inside the batter. But then you back off the milk. I don't want to back off of my milk. Okay, so I'm going to use my normal... 100, my normal one cup of milk. Again, it's just the way I prefer to do it. And then I have my five eggs here. They are room temperature. I've already cracked these. We're going to use three cups of my Swan's cake flour. Cake flour is already pre-sifted. I always, once I get my cake flour, and I have to use a fourth teaspoon of baking powder and a little dash of salt. I go on and sift that one more time. It's just what I prefer to do. So that has already been sifted with the one fourth teaspoon of baking powder and a little dash of salt. And then, let's see. I'm going to use a pineapple oil. I love using oils because the flavor is more potent than the extracts. At least that's what I find. So I'm going to use pineapple oil and this is an oil that I purchased from my same local um, cake supplier where I purchased my cream bouquet. I'm going to use just a little dab of this. As it pertains to the cream bouquet, I've had questions. I ordered it again from a local cake supplier. I did have a subscriber that say she found this on Amazon. Okay, I would just suggest make sure you get the magic line. Okay, so if you don't have a cake supplier that you can get that from locally, hopefully you can find it on Amazon. Let's see. And then I have a little powdered sugar here. Again, we're going to do the glaze. That is my oven that has just reached the preheated temperature of 325 degrees. So we will be baking this cake at the temperature of 325 degrees for probably about an hour, 15, 20 minutes. Okay? 
and I will repeat that again I'm sure as I'm putting the cake in the oven so powdered sugar a little bit of uh, cream cheese for my glaze I may use maybe about a fourth of that and probably add a little butter I think that's everything and then I have a little extra cake flour here because this pineapple I don't want it to fall um, to the you know bottom of the batter so I'm gonna lightly flour it to kind of keep it in place okay because I don't want it to sink alright so I'm gonna bring you closer and then I'm gonna talk you through what we're gonna do next and you guys I'm really working on trying to condense some of my videos and not make them so long when I do my cakes because I had a subscriber mention of one of my cakes and the video was just so long she just, you know, just thought it was too long to try to sit there and look at it. But I've tried to be so detailed because there are some people who just really are intimidated by baking. So I've, I've tried to, you know, be very detailed and help those, you know, who are challenged with baking to show them you really can do this. Okay. But I'm trying to condense my videos and not make them so long. So I'm going to talk you through what I'm going to do and then you will see. Um, the mixer do its thing. So for example right now, I'm just adding my three sticks of butter And I'm not going to talk over the mixer. So this is what's getting ready to happen I'm adding my three sticks of butter and then you will see me slowly add the sugar and we're gonna mix that We're gonna cream the butter and sugar that usually takes me anywhere from about 10 15 minutes but you want to cream it until that sugar is silent you don't want to hear the little sugar crystals moving around and then it'll have that the the mixture will get a little lighter and it'll look kind of smooth okay so I'm gonna do that first after that I'm going to add my eggs one at a time okay I'm gonna add the eggs one at a time until they are mixed in between each egg and then you will see me adding my last egg I'm not gonna show you me adding all five I'm telling you I'm gonna add five eggs one at a time after that I'm going to come back and then after that I'll just come back then and explain what I'm doing and then we'll keep it moving how about that Now that I finished creaming my butter and sugar, I added five eggs, one at a time. Now it's time to start adding my dry and wet ingredients. You always want to start with the dry ingredients, which is my cake flour and baking powder and dash of salt. And you want to end with your dry ingredients as well. So I'm going to alternate my dry with my milk. And I'm also going to be adding in my cream bouquet and I have a dropper, my dropper full of pineapple oil. 
Okay? So again, you will see me start adding so you can kind of get an idea of how long I wait in between adding the dry ingredients with the milk. You'll see me do that and then you'll see me add the remainder of the dry ingredients at the end. I'm not going to alternate and show you guys the whole process because it'll take too long, okay? But I just want you to know what I'm doing. And you guys, I've had a change of plans. I had mentioned earlier that with my pineapple, I was going to toss them in some of that cake flour to keep them from sinking to the bottom. But since I've pureed them, I'm not gonna. Uh, I'm not gonna do that because I don't. I don't think it would be a good combination. I think it would make it just too. It would be a mush of pineapples and flour. So I'm not going to do that. But if you are using pineapple chunks, then I would certainly suggest, just a suggestion, that you may want to um, toss that. Toss your pineapples in some flour. Okay. So here are my pineapples. And I'm just going to fold them in. I do not want to 
mix them in with the mixer. I'm just going to fold them in. sure I would imagine once it's baked that you will still be able to see some of the pineapples here and there but I just didn't want big hunks of pineapple okay I have thoroughly sprayed my cake pan with Baker's Joy. And now we're just gonna fill this cake pan so we can get this cake in the oven. I try my best not to get cake batter on my little tube that's sticking up in the middle. I hate it when I get cake batter on there. I don't know why. It's just a pet peeve of mine. So I really try not to. Y'all, I forgot to take me a little bit of this batter out of here before I put all them doggone pineapples in there. I guess I'll just have to enjoy the little bit of batter that's on my um beaters. Yep. I love cake batter. Okay. Y'all know I don't never clean that bowl like that. At least you know I'm I'm not a pineapple batter kind of girl. Now we're just going to get this batter smoothed out. And level as possible. Then we just, I usually tap the bottom to get all the air bubbles. You can also drop it on your countertop. Now we're getting ready to put this in, an, in the oven on 325 degrees for about an hour and 15, 20 minutes. I'm gonna set it for an hour and 15. Well, guys, it's been about an hour and 10 minutes, so this one is gonna come out a little sooner than the other cakes. I use my little tester and tested it and it came out clean so didn't cook quite as long so we're gonna let it cool for about 10 minutes in the meantime we're gonna work on our glaze and as usual I don't measure anything when I do my glaze as for this cream cheese I'm gonna use maybe about an ounce and a half Based on the measurements on the side. So, about one and a half ounces. And because I'm doing this by hand, I 
I'm not the mixer. I can use the mixer, but I just don't feel like it's necessary. Now this cream cheese is room temperature, but I just want to kind of whip it just a little bit before I start adding the powdered sugar. Okay, so that's whipped a little. Let me add just a dollop of my cream bouquet, just a little drop. And then we're gonna add, of course, pineapple oil. It's gonna take that, um, that was about half a dropper of that pineapple oil. It's gonna take this glaze on up a notch. Pouring this powdered sugar. So, Lord, it never fails. My baby and my sister calling me on duo. Baby, would you stop that, please? Okay, yeah, let me turn off that. Thank you. Okay. Y'all, I love duo and FaceTime because my sister, my daughter and I, it's just amazing that we're all in three different places and we can talk and see our grandbaby and him getting his bath. That's just so sweet, y'all. Okay, so I'm doing just a little bit of milk. Be very careful with the liquid because once you add it, you can't take it out. And the only way to fix it will be able to, you'll have to um, add more powdered sugar. Okay, so I'm going to add just a little more. And then I like it to be kind of thick in the beginning. That way I can get it smooth. See how this looking? Whipping it. From the looks of it, I want a little more powdered sugar. And then also, after I It was no need for me to pull out the mixer for that. Let me give it a little taste to see if I can taste that pineapple. Mm. Mm, that's good. Okay. So, it's perfect. So, we'll just wait. And let the cake cool a few more minutes, flip it, and then get it glazed. Now y'all know I told y'all I was going to use a little bit of this pineapple juice in my glaze. And it's sitting in the refrigerator. Why y'all let me forget? It's okay. We'll drink it, but um, I just went on and used my milk. But when you do your glaze, you can use a little bit of the pineapple juice. But same rule applies. Be careful. Only add just a little bit at a time. That way you won't. Um, end up with your glaze being too soupy. Oh, and let me say this. One of my subscribers, you guys, if you have not seen my banana pudding pound cake, I think it's what it's called. Anyway, I'll link it right here. When I flip the cake, you just need to go watch that video if you've not seen it already. But one of my subscribers mentioned me getting a larger plate and getting closer to the counter when I flip. But the reason I like to use this plate is because if you'll notice on my cake pan, y'all this is an old cake two pan. I love it. My first mother-in-law gave this to me. These little ends, I don't even know what they're for. If you guys know what these are for, y'all let me know. I don't know what they're for. But anyway, this plate fits right down on here perfectly you know it goes right on top of that so 
If I were to use another cake plate like you guys, y'all see me flip that cake. <laughs> Let me show you guys this one. Oh, it's so pretty. I found this at a, um, is this not pretty? <gasps> y'all, that is so pretty. Mm. So something like this, the cake plate, me trying to flip on, you know what? Let me see something. If I did like this and then did like that. That works too. Beautiful display. But I couldn't, I can't flip it directly on this because it's too large. Where's my, I'm just trying to give you guys a demonstration. We are still waiting on the cake to cool. But I can't flip it on this one because those little things that stick up, it would make, you know, I can't put it flat. On, and the fact that I can, this plate lays flat on top of this. It makes all the difference in the world. So that's why I um, don't use a larger plate, you guys. That's why. So we're going to continue letting this cool. Isn't that pretty? It cooked a little differently, though, than my other pound cakes. I guess because of the, the pineapples, you know? But... Anywho, we're going to let it cool for a little bit longer, and then I'll do the glaze once it cools down a bit more. Now, this glaze is kind of thick, and that's the way I wanted it. I usually like my glazes a little bit thicker when I use cream cheese. You guys, since I'm not going to put any pineapples on the outside of the cake, I saved just a little bit of the glaze and I thinned it out with a little more milk. And I'm just going to use just a drop of food coloring. This is a gel food coloring to make it yellow. I like the pineapples. And just drizzle this over the cake as well. I didn't need but just a drop. It made it really, really yellow. But it made it really yellow. That gel food coloring is the truth. Okay. So this is in lieu of my pineapples. And I just, I just didn't want to put pineapples on the outside of the cake. And you guys, I just like to have fun and experiment when I'm making a cake. And if by chance I do something and I don't like it, guess what? I know not to do it again the next time. But some stuff you only, the only way you're going to know is just try it. That's how so many wonderful discoveries have been made by people just experimenting and trying stuff. That's so pretty. And I guess you guys can tell with how quiet it is that my dude number one is not here. So we're going to have to taste this together without him. It seems really funny doing the cake and my dude number one is not here. Y'all know I'm getting a thumbnail. So I guess I'm going to have to dig in by myself. Because he's not here. And like I said, we're not pineapple 
cake eater, so hopefully he will, I think he'll at least taste it when he gets home. Let's see, let's see. I can tell that it is exceptionally moist. I could tell that when I was cutting it. Taste that subtle hint of the pineapple. Not strong at all, so. I really like the glaze with it. I don't know if you can tell that there's some, I can tell there's some pieces of pineapple in here, but it's good. really like it with the glaze. Mm. Okay. Well, that's another one for the tube. <laughs> Thank you guys so much. I really appreciate you all watching. If you're not subscribed, please subscribe. Turn on the notification bell, y'all. And you know how when you turn on the notification bell, it rings, and that's when you shake some, shake some, shake some, shake some. Y'all, my dude number one started that, so turn on that notification bell, so it'll shake. Okay? We already look forward. Gosh, it's so quiet without him in here and coming and dancing to get some cake. We already look forward to you joining us again next time. Y'all, I just had to grab the camera again really quick. Um, Y'all see my dude number one is finally home. And it is after... It's after, nine, it's after 9 o'clock. So he's just not getting a piece of cake. And baby, tell him what you just... This pineapple cake. Tell him what you just said. You know, I said, this is... This is moist. It's really moist. And see, that's the same thing I said. I said, it is exceptionally moist. So when he said that... I said, let me turn this camera back on real quick. And then I missed you being here with me, honey. I'm right here with you, man, always. They miss your cake dance. But anywho, y'all, I just wanted to turn the camera back. Now, for us not to really be pineapple cake eaters, what you think? Who's got a pineapple cake? Oh, sweet. I ain't never done no pineapple cake. That's why I ain't probably never ate one. Exactly. So that's why I said we're not pineapple cake eaters. You said we ain't pineapple cake eaters. It's good. You like it. You gonna be a pineapple cake eater now? Yeah. Just shake some. Just shake some. Just. Bye, y'all.